have new group members. And that's a pretty uh, probably the most active group on Hypno Thoughts. Oh, definitely. And there there goes your uh, plug right there. I was <laughs> I was gonna say that um oh yeah, I was reading a discussion on um Hypno Thoughts about somebody who they had a client and they were suggesting to this person that they were on a beach, they could hear the waves, feel like the warmth of the sun. And this person started to fidget really bad. So they decided to um halt the the hypnotic induction. And when they talked to him, they found out that they were actually in um, I, God, where was it? Was it India when they had the uh, soon? I think it was India when they had the. Right, you know, I read I read that post also, right? But obviously, they were pretty uncomfortable on the beach because, uh, well, they they had been hit by a tsunami when they were last at the beach. Yeah, so this is definitely something you want to keep in mind. Is like he said, keep it nondescript and let the people create um, their own imagery. And that's why my favorite imagery is imagine yourself underneath a clear blue sky. It's not too hot. It's not too cold. A place you've been before, a place you'd like to go, or even a place of your own creation. And then people can go wherever they want to. They can go to the forest, the beach. They can go home. Uh, they can go to their bedroom. They can go to their childhood home. They can uh, go to a magical, mystical place. They can do anything they want. Yeah, and it's pretty much impossible not to know what a clear blue sky, sky looks like unless you live under a rock. Right. Yeah, everybody knows what a clear blue sky is. Uh, and, and the other thing is, is uh, I, I, you know, I, I'll use that cloud because everybody sees clouds all the time. I mean, it's kind of like breathing. Uh, I've met, I've met people who don't like clowns, but I've never met anybody yet who doesn't like a cloud. Um, it's, it's, uh, it's, it's, you know, a positive image because, well, that way we know the world is still going around. I know that you have an upcoming training in April. Do you mind telling my audience about the details of this particular yeah, training? Yeah, actually, yeah, I'm real excited about it. It's not simply a training. It's actually the Dallas Hypnosis Convention, and uh, it'll be people from all over the uh, the country and the world, hopefully. Um, and we have a great lineup of speakers, me, uh, William Mitchell, uh, Scott Sandlin, the creator of uh, HypnoThoughts, um, uh, Hugh Cole, uh, who's a Harvard-trained life coach, and a number of other people. So that is going to be a great opportunity on April 7th, 8th, and 9th. And we've intentionally made it extremely affordable. It's $99 a day if you pre-register. And uh, we have a, uh, unlike most conventions where usually old men give awards to other old men and everyone eats rubber chicken uh, served by a tuxedoed uh, waitress, uh, we're actually doing a banquet we're uh, we're uh, going to practice and learn fire walking, and uh, have it professionally catered, and it should be incredible. It should be an awesome experience, with lots of good training on rapid instant induction. John Sirbone's going to be there. Uh, Willie Mitchell's going to be talking about hypnotic for, uh, phenomena and also about forgiveness. I'm going to be talking about some of the the business aspects of hypnotherapy. Hugh Cole's going to be talking about life coach. Gordon Leith is going to be talking about what we've been talking about tonight: autogenic training and progressive muscle relaxation. And uh, there are uh, it's a great opportunity for people, whether they're new or experienced in hypnosis, to um, to meet other people and to. Uh, learn about hypnosis. Um, the other cool thing about it is, although it's sponsored by um, my organization, the International Certification Board of Clinical Hypnotherapists, uh, it's an open group. If you're a member of other associations, that's fine. We want you to come out. Or we believe that there's enough hypnosis for everybody on the world. So if you're a, uh, you know, a member of some other hypnosis organization, we're more than happy to have you attend our conference and uh, benefit from the decades of experience that you'll. Uh, get to hear from the presenters oh god you know i i kind of wish i was on the mainland soon i'm gonna have to uh i'm gonna have to save up some money head to the mainland and get a bunch of uh well i i got lucky last time i came to hawaii even though it was a a last minute deal it was 303 bucks each way from uh dallas to uh the big island i'm sure a similar deal could be had to Kauai, uh or certainly to maui and uh so it was 303 bucks each way and uh i tell you what if uh if anybody comes from uh uh, from Hawaii or from overseas, we'll even give them a 20% discount on their conference registration fees. Although I won't save them that much because the conference is pretty cheap anyway. Uh, it's pretty inexpensive. But it's four day, it's three days, um, and it's going to be packed full of uh, information. Oh, that's, a, that's a really good deal. Yep. 
Are there any upcoming products or any products you have that you'd like to talk about? Well, you know, we offer at subliminalscience.com a lot of different products. Our, our hypnosis certification programs are certainly very popular, and our NLP certification program is also very popular. But anybody who's looking for free scripts to download, looking for other resources, there's a bunch of them there on our website. Even if you don't buy anything, you know, may as well download some free books, some free resources, some some uh, some other things, and uh, they're all there on subliminalscience.com. Yeah, I can definitely attest to uh, you being very generous. Two years ago, there was a, um, it was a kind of a secret Santa giveaway on hypnothoughts.com where I got a copy of your Speed Trance Instant Hypnotic Inductions for Stage, Street, and Clinical Hypnosis with you and uh, Mr. Sabone. I would definitely suggest people, um, if they want to learn uh, Speed Trance and Rapid Inductions, check that DVD out. Another DVD that I actually got was a copy of your teach yourself self-hypnosis so what i'd like to do i'm going to be having a contest pretty soon where i'm going to give away a free copy of the teach yourself self-hypnosis if you'd like to know when this contest is going to happen you can subscribe for the newsletter at www.hawaiihypnosis.org richard has a free online class every sunday at nonguardtv.com at 9 p.m 9 p.m dallas time for people in hawaii i believe that's 4 p.m Hawaii time every Sunday. Yeah, since you guys don't do daylight savings time in Hawaii, sometimes it's going to be 3 o'clock and sometimes it's going to be 4 o'clock Hawaii time. Uh, in the winter time, of course, uh, when we're off daylight savings time, it's 4 p.m. Hawaii time. Uh, but uh, it is always 9 p.m. Dallas time. So you can always just go to Google and find out when Dallas 9 p.m. Dallas time is and why we'll be there, even in Hawaii. Now, I'd like to know... I've probably I've asked you this before. This is uh this is probably my way to um get a bunch of uh really good hypnosis training from some of the uh top in the hypnotherapy and NLP community such as yourself. And this is how soon do you plan on coming to uh Hawaii for <laughs> training? You know, I've been to Hawaii twice in the last year. Um once to uh, get married, uh, we got married on the beach in, Kau- in uh, Maui, and uh, once to go hang out on the Big Island and explore uh, the Big Island, and uh, we've been to Oahu this year. Uh, again, not to do training, all just uh, enjoying Hawaii. I seek out as many opportunities as I can to get to Pacific Islands, and so hopefully, hopefully we can get out there. Uh, uh, sometime, sometime next spring, I hope. I'd, I'd love to. And, and next time, I'd love to schedule at least a day or two of training um, just to meet the Hawaiian hypnotists. And the next time you come out, you're going to have to uh, have another uh, local moco. Yeah, last time I was there, you and I were talking on Skype, and you told me to get You were eating a loco moco, and you told me to get it, so I did. Uh, usually, my wife is feeding me Philippine food, so uh, having a Hawaiian, a truly authentic Hawaiian dish was. And I actually had it in on the Big Island, which is where it was uh, created, apparently. And um, so it was pretty awesome, but I felt uh, it definitely isn't on a diet plan. I know why that one uh, guy... Uh, I can't say anything in Hawaiian, but you know the musician that I'm talking about, the big guy? Oh, uh, um, yeah. uh, brother brother is. Yeah, right, right, right. Uh, now I know why he's uh, so big. For the Filipinos out here that would like to uh, learn hypnosis, and if you want to get on Richard's good side, I would say definitely uh, cook him up some, uh, let me see if I say it correctly, some uh, balok. <laughs> if you cook me balot, you won't be my friend, but if you bring me lachon, I'll always be your friend. You know, actually, the best is a hollow hollow. That's my favorite of all the Philippine dishes. Oh, you know what, God, I'm I'm drawing a blank on that. What exactly is that? Hollow hollow is like shaved ice with custard and Jello and ice cream and all kinds of delicious flavors and coconut and cream all mixed up together. And it's like, what if a snow cone met all the rest of the desserts on a buffet and they joined together? I mean, it's great. And through and through Jello and jelly beans into it. God, a good, good way for me to start gaining weight. Like when I first moved here, a little over three years ago, I started. I had some, um, was it the Portuguese sausage? Oh, that stuff will throw some poundage on you fast. Yep. Well, don't worry, Antonio. I'll always hypnotize you to cut back on your loco moco and on your uh, Philippine desserts. Now, I don't know if I, I don't think I'm going to give up the loco mocos. <laughs> I didn't say give up. I said cut back. Ah, that's true. For um, 
all the links that we've been saying stuff is uh, subliminalscience.com, uh, hypnothoughts, non guard TV, any of the links, I'm going to post them below this video. So if you're on YouTube directly, you can just look below the video and you'll see the uh, description. And if you're on my uh, website, the blog post where this podcast is, scroll all the way down to where you can see the comment box and just uh, leave a comment. Or if you have a comment for Richard, I can always uh, forward it to Richard if you want to just comment on this podcast. Richard, I just want to thank you very much for taking the time out of your busy life to allow me to interview you for the Hawaii Hypnosis Podcast. Thank you. It's been a pleasure. Yeah, it was great. Well, uh, good having you. Or no, good to be here. <laughs> yep. You have a nice night and have uh, fun with the class. Not sure. Thanks, Antonio. You can also find us on the internet at these locations. Facebook.com forward slash Hawaii Hypnosis, Twitter.com forward slash Hawaii Hypnosis, and MySpace.com forward slash Hawaii Hypnosis. Thanks for listening.